Hi everyone. Good day to you, wherever you are. And I welcome you to the finest music drama channel. Sharing the love, of finest literature. Just, lie down on an easy chair. Throw your cares off your mind. Think of nothing, but the temperature of your drink. I hope, you will enjoy today's dramatization. Your comments are much appreciated. Please support the love, of finest literature, by subscribing and sharing the channel with friends, to get updated on future releases. He was born in 1899, which was only three or four years after the Lumiere brothers had first shown movies in Paris, and he died in 1980, so his life kind of spanned most of the 20th century. His passion was for film, was for telling stories, and for telling stories as visually as he possibly could. Mr Hitchcock, you seem to have a very nice sense of humour, which you obviously had before you established yourself as directing thrillers. How come you've never had any comedies? But, but every film I make is a comedy. <laughs> Mr. Hitchcock, could you tell us when you first had the idea of appearing in all your films? I think it started with The Lodger. And could you tell us why? Because I don't know of any other filmmaker that does it. No, in those early days we ran out of actors. <laughs> That's really true. Well, we're on dangerous ground here. I won't talk about myself, but I will voice one little complaint. You know, one of the most, I think, astounding technical achievements by technicians was in the picture called The Birds. And uh, nobody will ever know the fact that we use the optical printing facilities of every studio in Hollywood and the supervision of one of the most brilliant men a man called Ab Iwerks, who is Disney's man, and yet the Academy gave the award to some little dissolve effect in Cleopatra. There's an amazing scene in The Birds about halfway through where the heroine, played by Tippi Hedren, goes to the school, has to wait outside in the playground. And while she's waiting, behind her we see a bird just landing on the climbing frame. First one bird, then two, then three, then four. And at that particular moment, Hitchcock then cuts to the heroine so that we can't see what is happening behind her. And then suddenly she looks up to the sky and there's a bird flying across the heavens. And it's coming down, she follows its flight, and it lands on the climbing frame. And the climbing frame is absolutely packed with birds. And they're just waiting there. The Birds was an inordinately complicated film technically to do. It's amazing that he would have the patience to do it because it was extraordinarily difficult. I mean, we look at Jurassic Park or monster movies where the monster's there and you think, well, what's the big deal with some birds? But that was the trick of that movie, was to make birds ominous, these everyday animals that you don't think anything about, make them terrifying and not make it look like a cartoon. It was a gruelingly difficult movie to make. peek through the binoculars? No. It's just... I forgot my gloves. I'll hold them for you. What can you see? A lot of birds bobbing about on the water. Gulls. Look again. They're just gulls. Noisy, nasty things. <sighs> Not just gulls. There's red shanks. Oyster catchers out there. All sorts. Look. Yes. I've homework. It took me ages to find you. Dad? It's 
not often you see them all mixed up like that. And so many of them. Thousands upon thousands. The more you look, the more there are. I've been watching them all afternoon. Poor, restless things. The Birds by Daphne du Maurier Dramatised for radio by Melissa Murray aren't you? And that'll make me sound like I'm nagging, whereas if you just told me, we could discuss it like adults. You didn't speak to him, did you? Speak to who? He's teasing you, aren't you? I spoke to him this morning. And? There might be something. Regular. Trigg wants me to come down to the anchor tonight to have a word. Uh, the pub. He makes you feel it. Maybe he doesn't want to. Maybe he can't control it. He starts off saying what a damn shame and disgrace it is. The disability pension, how little it is. What a debt the country owes to men like me. Veterans. He says that with his lip curling. What time will you be home? I don't care that he stayed put. Why should I? I don't think less of him for that. I think less of him because he pays skinflint wages. Don't have more than one pint. Not unless he's buying, and he won't be. So don't worry. Don't forget to take the torch. There's two of you at it now. What? Nagging me. Ah, you all need a drink. Mary? Get this man a pint. Thank you, Mr. Trigg. Nice to get away from the women folk, isn't it? The wives, eh? Yeah. Oh, sit down, sit down. Well, shall we start off? Shall we talk? What do you want to say now? I've said my piece already, I think. I'm looking for a bit of regular work. Well, you did a good job on that barn door. Do you think you can manage a bit of thatching? Oh, I'm thinking of your leg up a ladder. I can manage. Good. That'll be sixpence. Good. Give him his change now, Mary. It will be my money in his pocket in the future, won't it? Yeah. Well, you told me if he spends it all in here. <laughs> Here's his change. I knew her mother. Not a patch on her, she's not, are you, Mary? Your wife, Mrs. London, I hear. Never saw the point in the place myself. Nor me. Cornwall's good enough for us. You teach her that. Why'd you marry a London girl in the first place? <clears throat> so, thatching. I can do that. And fencing. I could take a turn at milking. And I'm good with engines. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, I suppose I could find something for two days, three days. Let's say three days, shall we? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thank you, Mr Trigg. Oh, don't thank me. I'm sure it would be worth every penny. Every penny. What was it you did before? Before the war? That has you this handy? Well, I grew up on a farm. We moved into town when I was 15. Last job I had, I was a fireman. <laughs> And there was me asking about ladders. <laughs> Where? Uh, it was in Plymouth. Ah, oh, poor bloody Plymouth. She took her knocks, didn't she? Yes. You lost people there, I expect. Well, it happens. It happened to a lot of people. Not to me, thank God. Fireman, eh? Oh, you must have volunteered then. Yes. You must have volunteered for the army. You didn't have to go. Might have been more use if you stayed put. I expect you think that from time to time. 
could see the city burning. Some people say they could see the city burning from here. People are terrible liars, aren't they? Uh, boasters. People boast. Miss Army life? Some do. Some find it hard to settle. How is that cottage yours? Small? When would you like me to start, Mr. Trigg? Start? Start working. Well, what's wrong with tomorrow? Nothing. Well, off you go. Off you go and get a good night's rest. You've, a, you've got a long walk. The sooner you start, the sooner you'll be home. Another point now, Mary. Just the one. Our friend is leaving. time? God, what's happened? It's a long walk. To your head? Your head's bleeding? Uh, nothing. Something struck me. You were in a fight, Nat? No. On the walk home, something struck me. Well, what? Well, I'd better clean it. It'll do. He's given me three days a week. How much money? I thought you'd be pleased. I am. I am pleased. Sit down. I can't reach you. It'll get easier in the spring. You'll see how lovely the place is then. I said I'll give it until then, and I will. I'll keep my word. And I'll keep mine. I'll get some. Give it till the spring. Maggie's settling in all right. Isn't she? She is. Let's go to bed. Oh, is, is your leg hurting? Oh, no. Why do you always ask? Let's go to bed then. Maggie? What? Oh, stay there. I'll go. What is it? Maggie? Oh, it's all right, love. It's all right. It was just a nightmare. Come on, come out now. I can't. I'm frightened. I'm not coming out until it's gone. There's nothing here. Nothing in the room. Just... Just me and Daddy. I'm here, Maggie. Is it gone? Is what gone? Well, I get your glass of water. I was trying to get in. I heard it at the window, trying to get in. I did hear it. It wasn't a dream. At the window? I'll take a look. Don't let it in, will you? There it is. I told you. What's that, Nat? It's just a branch blown against the window, isn't it? No, it's not. Listen. What is it, Nat? D don't open the window. I have to. Oh! It's only a, a bird. A little bird, that's all. Get rid of it. Get it out of here. I can't catch it. You didn't hit me. Get out. Go on, Maggie. Stay under the covers. Oh. Frightened. B. 
being in our world, it's frightened. I'm taking the top blanket off your bed. Lie still. shadows under your eyes. It was only a bird. Your dad can walk you to the bus stop. I don't need walking to the bus stop. He's to be at Triggs this morning. It's on his way. Have a look at these. See? There's finches, wrens, robins. You don't see many robins around here. They're dead. There must be 50 of them out there. All sorts. Not local, some of them. There must have been a storm inland. Blew them here. Could you get them out of my kitchen, please? Well, they can't harm you. Why are they all dead? Well, that's the question. It looks as though they knocked their poor little brains out against our shutters. Aren't you glad I went round and closed them all? Yes. Is that normal? Them doing that? No. No, it's not. Can you take them out? I'll drop them outside and clear them up when I get home tonight. Is that all right? I'll clear them up myself. Well, do you want me to do it now? No. You need to go off to work. And Maggie's bus is at a quarter past. Don't be late home, either of you. Look at the numbers of them. Millions. The more the merrier when they're migrating. To them, they're going. It's the ones that stay that feel it. They flock about. Fly from here to there, all keyed up, all restless, but they don't go anywhere. They don't leave. Why not? Uh, some do, some don't. Starlings go, rooks don't. Instinct. Why do they stick together like that? Shoals of fish, herds of cows, and we do, humans. The big cities. Suits most people. Not me. I'm an odd one. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm glad I am. You must have hated the army. Well. I'd have hated it. <laughs> <laughs> You're cheerful this morning. Don't worry about last night, will you? I'll not let anything hurt you. Ever. I don't like their eyes. What? Birds. There's nothing in them. They're like... doll's eyes. They don't look natural somehow. That's daft. They're part of nature. They have to be natural. I know. They act more natural than we do. You're happy here, aren't you? I tell your mum you are. I think sometimes it might be nicer to live in the village. With the rest of the flock? If you were a bird, what would you be? I don't know. A parrot. <laughs> Miss Seeley says I talk too much. What would you be? Ooh. My turn here. I'll see you tonight. Bye. Don't be late home. Jonathan. Morning, Sergeant. Mr. Trigger, about? It is Tuesday. I know what day it is. No, you don't. Not if you're asking for Master. It is Tuesday, market day. That's where he is. Well? I'm started working for him regular. He may have told you. He may have at that. Did he say what he wanted doing? I've worked here five years, since I left school. Just so we know where we stand. I have a job for you. There's a smell you won't forget, Nari. Dead sheep. No, it's not that rotten. It's when their bellies burst to get the real stink. You all right? Fine. Thank God for the cliff, eh? Else we'd have to bury it. No busy bodies inside, but we should be quick. 
Oh, I'm pulling dead weight here. Get your back into it, Sergeant. You must have smelt worse things than this. Yes. Right. Here we are. This is the bit I like. Look at her fall. Dinner time, gents. <laughs> it's a sight that, isn't it? I love it. Should be with her friends. It's not late. Can't see her coming up the way. First month's here, no one bothered with her. She came home on the dot. Now she has a gossip with the other girls before she catches her bus. That's good. It's what she needs. I would have thought you'd be delighted. I wouldn't mind the company myself. It'll be dark in an hour. The country's a safer place than London, you said. We won't be having to keep our eye on her every minute in Cornwall. You should be worried. I have enough to be worried about as it is. What does that mean? Nothing. I'm going to find her. Go on, then, but don't tell her off. I don't do that. on the road. I, I didn't know you'd be waiting for me. Dad? Are you all right? What kind of accident? A real one. A car in a ditch. Our bus driver got out to see if he could help, but there was no one there. No one in it. There was broken glass all over the road. Oh, that's all. Just glass. No... He made us stay on the bus. Come on. He wouldn't let us off to look. Good. What's wrong? Nothing. How was work? I didn't know you'd be waiting for me. I'm sorry. I hope Mum's made hot pot like she said. Listen. What do you hear? I don't know. Hedgerows, alive with them. You can see them moving about, but there's not a note out of them. The wrens, the larks, the whole lot, are silent. I've been stood here half an hour and they've not made a sound. Why is that? I don't know. Look at that field. Look. There are a hundred rooks standing in that field if there's one. What are they doing? Nothing. Just sitting there. Nothing. Just sitting there. You're frightening me. No, I'm not. I'm not. They're frightening me. If you just... What? Sit down and talk. I don't want you worried. I, I, I don't want you upset. Please, Nat. I get like that sometimes myself. Like what? Nervous. But they're just birds. I used to be afraid of cows. Truth to tell, I still am. I hate the way they all I'm turn. I'm not and... afraid of them. Birds, I like them. Good. You're not frightened then, but somehow or other Maggie is. She came in that door white-faced. You frightened her. I was talking to her, that's all. Of course I didn't mean to frighten her. No. I believe that. Well, then. It doesn't matter what you meant to do. You frightened her. Can't you see that? Dad? What is it, love? We're just talking. There's a noise. No, there isn't. Wouldn't it just be funny if you were the one to drive us out of here? Come downstairs. There's a play on the wireless at half-past. 
how they built the cathedrals or something. Listen. Listen to what? I'll have to start lighting a fire in this room. Let's have a look at your homework. We have to be quiet. Now, you lay a fire here and me and Maggie will go down and put the kettle on. There. Cats. A couple of cats are hunting or courting. You've, uh, go downstairs with your mother. Get your mother downstairs. I'm going to get the shutters closed in our room. Quick! They're breaking the door down! It'll hold them! to touch them. But does it matter how many of them there are? Oh, it might do. Bigger ones than yesterday. Gulls, crows. Don't even know the name of this one. Twenty. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. Don't make jokes. Is she asleep still? I'm not sending her to school today. No. Look at the state of her room, Nat. Mm. What's happening? I don't know. What will we do? Oh, I'm going to make new shutters for all the windows. I can do that by tonight. You have to go to work. This is more important. It won't happen again, surely. What's to stop it? Go through the window. Mind, mind the glass. You can see him flying. As though nothing in the world had happened. I'll go up and explain to Trigg, and I'll phone through to the police station. They should be told about this. I don't know about that. Phoning the police. And if they think it's a crank call, let them. We know it happened. How long will you be? Stay in the kitchen till I get back, if you like. You can get her down here. It's safe there. I won't be long. Look at this one. His beak broken in two. Proper little kamikaze, aren't you, boy? You want to say that to me again? I'll work Friday and Saturday to make up. Jonathan, tell me, uh, have you ever heard the like, have you? No, you haven't. If there's anything urgent, I can come back this afternoon. Have you the head stagger, is that it? Bats in the belfry, birds on the brain? I did hear someone say... What? What did you hear? Worse than my old woman, you're listening. Listening to nonsense. Start as you mean to finish. That's the truth. So, Nat Hocken. You either start today or you're finished today. Is that clear? Of course it is. What did you hear, Jonathan? Some poor soul up Elston hanging out her washing yesterday. Someone went for her eye. She couldn't see what. She couldn't tell him. A bird. Just a blur and it blinded her. Really blinded her. Are you working? Answer me now. I'll be here tomorrow and I'll work the whole weekend to make up for today. Frighten us, some little bird that broke your window. Who would have thought that, huh? Well, I might have. I might have wondered about our fine military man. How'd that leg of yours happen? Trip up running away? Be off my land. Jonathan, walk this fool off, unless you want to go with him. Plenty of good men looking for work. I'll call tomorrow. I have a shotgun. Two of them. I won't be trespassed against. <sighs> Come on. He'll be watching from the window. He won't take you back. Don't know what you do for work. You burn your bridges there. Look at that lot and those trees. Why aren't they moving? Uh, they do that. They all go into some kind of trance. I don't know. Don't know why, but it was the same yesterday. Tides change about now. Could be that. Mm, if there's cows going mad, I'd understand it. The life we give them, poor horses. The way some people treat horses. But wild birds, we leave alone mostly. Maybe a disease of some kind. There never was such a sickness as that. You should make sure your own place is secure. Don't worry about me, Sergeant. Once they've started attacking, it could go on. Maybe. 
Maybe it might stop. I told the truth about that old woman. And I've heard other things. I believe you. He didn't. You got me into trouble. Go on. Get back to where you come from. Bugger off! The news is on in two minutes. Come in! Nearly done. Come in! It's getting dark. sign of anything moving out there. The wireless is still warming up. Takes ages. We should get a new one. I want to go to school tomorrow. You're not going to school. I told you that. No unnecessary journeys. What did the police actually say? Uh, not much. I couldn't get through for a long time. Not that many phoning in. He sounded like he'd had enough. Mm. All he'd say was, keep to the house, no unnecessary journeys, don't panic. He said the same things they always say. At least we know it's not just us. It could never have been just us. That wouldn't have made sense. None Last of this makes sense. The stream covering Britain has caused birds to migrate in much larger numbers than usual. Scientists believe a combination of disorientation and hunger is causing them, in a small number of instances, to attack lone individuals. There have been no reports of serious injuries. Hmm. And the weather is due to change by the weekend when all will return to normal. The meteor... I wanted to listen to that. And, and there's a concert on after the news. Be quiet. Dad. We have to think. We have to plan. He said it'd be over by the weekend. He said he didn't know what he was talking about. Did you hear him? Well, they've nothing to say. They've no idea what's going on. It's dark in here with the shutters closed. It's not panic. Matt. No, I'm going to make a list of all the things we need. All right. You plan. I'll do the tea. With beans and sausages. Use perishables, not the beans. I've carrots. Carrots and sausages. Yeah, beggars can't be choosers. Fuel. Candles. Knives. Nails. Anything I can get my hands on in the way of tools. Soap. Rope. Tarpaul. Anything handy. Torches. Batteries. Porridge. Flour. We'll be like Swiss Family Robinson. Yeah, that's a girl. How are we supposed to pay for all that? I'll borrow a car in the morning. From whom? There's no time to waste. What's oh. that? Dad? I'll take a look. You two, get in the front room and close the door behind you. No, just open the door a crack and we'll peek through. We'll all look. It's dangerous. You'll take less risk if we're in the same room as you. Maggie, take your mum into the front room. I want to see what's going on. Mum! Close the door! It's incredible. The whole sky. Black, the whole sky. We're flying away. Away? Yes. Oh, thank God, they're leaving. They're going south? Yes, they're headed out to the village. We're in that direction. Is that... Let me see. It needs stitches. Get a needle and thread, then. We can't use all of them. Waxed cotton. The strong stuff you use for my socks. Go on. <laughs> laughing. It was a hawk. Dropped down like a bomb. They have the best eyesight in the world. Hold still. <sighs> hold still. I am holding still. You'll have to hold the light up, Maggie. Come on. It'll be hard to do with you still bleeding. I'm sorry. Ah. <sighs> I shouldn't have stepped out like that. I was trying to stop you. Sorry. They're back. They're like hailstones. Giant hailstones. Listen to them. They want us. They really do. We're all sleeping down here tonight. It's safer. I'll get the mattresses later. 
They're tearing the shutters apart. They'll hold. We need galvanized sheets. I'll have to look for them. Oh, I've done two. Just one more, I think. Bugger, sorry. I don't mind. Do you want to hold my hand? I'd break your fingers. Go in the front room. Get the whiskey and pour me a glass. They were going east. What? They were going east, inland. What? Heading for the cities. Well, that's logical. The great pickings there. Ah, they'll like it there. Big buildings like cliffs. Home from home. Plenty of places to roost. Lots of pickings. Ah, that's what I think. Imagine the panic. Imagine it. They're keen, aren't they? Killing themselves to get to us. They don't give up. Must be hundreds dead out there now. Shame we can't eat them. I'm not eating them. Not if I was starving. How much longer can they go on? Have a drop of whiskey. Steady your nerves. If they get in... They won't get in. Not tonight. And tomorrow I'll strengthen the defences. Barbed wire at the very least. You know you said about taking a car. It's a borrow. And we'll leave IOUs for anything else we take. Let's leave. What do you mean? Let's leave. We're on our own here. Miles from anyone. Let's go. We need to get back to civilization. We could get as far as Bristol tomorrow and London by the next day. Didn't you hear what I said? They'll be organized. Even if the birds do get that far, they'll have traps, poison, they'll, they'll have a plan. Flamethrowers. Flamethrowers? Oh, I was right then. The tide turns about now. They're stopping. I wish I'd told the policeman about that. Maybe nobody else noticed and it might be important. What time is it? Let me look. Nearly six. I never thought she'd sleep. You can't mean for us to live like this. Barricaded in one room. No, you're right. I never meant for us to live like this. Will I put the kettle on? I think we should get out of here. We'll run out of supplies. Things will be even harder in the city. How do you know? I was in Germany just after the war. And I was in London during the war. We managed. It's not the blitz, this. We don't know what this is. But I tell you one thing. We're not going to London. Don't you get to make that decision, do you? Someone has to. We don't want to quarrel. Don't quarrel. Didn't know you were awake. I woke when they stopped tearing at the shutters. Is it morning? Let's listen to the morning news. Let's listen to that. We'll hear if they've gone inland. Then we'll make up our minds. All right. This is the BBC Light Programme. Here is the six o'clock news. A state of national emergency has been declared. The Cabinet is in session and plans are being drawn up to deal with the situation. The public are being urged to stay in their homes and not to travel. The Prime Minister has expressed his confidence in the indomitable spirit of the British people. The government's emergency plan will be broadcast this evening at six o'clock. Listeners are urged to have a piece of paper and a pen handy to take down instructions. That's it. Dance music. I'm off to get a car. But he said... We need supplies. That's what I say. Careful. All clear. All dead. Halfway up to the windowsill. Maggie, you give your mum a hand clearing them. Will he be all right? Put my gardening gloves on. Here. We'll use the coal sacks. Look, 
there's an owl. I quite like owls. If we stay here, we'll get sick. If it's like this every night, they'll rot. I can't spend half the day getting rid of them. Has he thought of that? Won't it be over soon? Of course it will. It's like rabies or that, that rabbit thing. Uh, myxomatosis. It'll burn itself out. Maybe not by the weekend, but before long. It's a disease? Yeah. I thought it might be the Russians. Y you know, now they have the bomb. I don't think it's the Russians. Could be, though. We don't know. We don't know anything. They could have infected them. They hate us. <laughs> they don't hate us. Someone does. God could be angry. You know, after all the bad things that happened in the war. What? So quiet. Where are the birds now? Are they watching us from somewhere? I haven't my glasses on. It's not safe out here. All those clouds. Cloud cover. They could be... Is there a noise? It's a car. I'm sure it's a car. It, it must be Dad. Let's go inside and wait for him. We have to clear these dead things up. We have to. We can do it later. You get in. I'm not leaving you. I hate the sky. I have hated this sky ever since we came here. They're in the clouds. I know it. Just waiting for us to move. To make a dash for it. No. What do you mean, no? Take me inside, Mum. I'm frightened. Please. I can't. I can't move. You shouldn't say that. It's not true. You take my hand. Come on, Mum. I can't. You can. Yes, you can. Come on, Mum. It's not far. Come on. Is everything all right? Fine. Mum and I were just having a cup of tea. Were you? I thought you were to clear the birds away. That was what you were supposed to do. Well, we got some done. Sue? I'm sorry. Sorry? It was my fault. I got frightened. I made Mum come in. I don't think to stop her going back out once you were safe inside. Work doesn't do itself. <coughs> I'll do it now. We have to get the provisions now. You can do it when we get back. Thanks. I'll give you a hand. Thank you. After I've done the shutters and all the other things that I said I'd do. Get in, Maggie. Come on, Sue, get in. Thank God. The sky's clearer. We can see there's, there's nothing up there. We'll have to be quick. We can't be sure how long they'll hold off. Not a single bird up there. Maybe they've stopped. No. Maybe they've all gone to the cities like you said. Just get in. Whose car is it? Do they mind you taking it? This is good all. No, she didn't mind. We could drop some supplies in for her, as a thank you. No need. This isn't the way to the village. I'm going to call at Triggs and see if he'll lend me one of his shotguns. There's something in that field. The birds are pecking at Don't it. Don't look. Did you hear me? Don't look. It was a cow. It wasn't. It was wearing clothes. There's a call box. I want to phone Jenny. Jenny? My sister, Jenny. How's she managing with the baby? The telephones are out. How do you know? Just look. Look, the wires are down. They brought them down. Thousands of them on the wires at once. No phones. And some of the poles down as well. You make it sound deliberate. Well. I'll be quick. All the windows. There aren't any. They're all smashed in. That's right. <gasps> That's my answer. Next time, 
hands off in both barrels. Now get out of my house. Don't be a fool, man. Come out. For one thing, you can't leave her lying in the hallway like this. I'm not coming out this cellar, that's it. Do you have food in there? Oh, good at asking questions, aren't you? Yes. Look, I can see there's blood near the door. You're injured. Let me help. Help yourself to my shotgun. Help yourself to my supplies. I've looked in the mirror and I don't look like a fool. <sighs> you still there? Sorry about your wife. What was her name? Mrs. Drake was her name. A good name. Bugger off! I'm going to the village to get supplies. Do you want anything? Not stand pot till the police gets here. <laughs> the police? They know what to do. Are you sure they're going to come? They know what to do with looters like you. I've never liked you. I've never liked a look at you. I'll put something over her and cover her up. Do that. <laughs> Don't look at her. I'm all right. Is she? Of course she is. Look away. Look away. Get out. Get back in the car. What are you doing here? I heard the gunshot. We're leaving. But you tell them I'm here. You hear me, listeners? You tell them to come and find me. To who? What's that noise? Birds. Landing. Thousands of them. Oh God, they're all over the farmyard. They're on the roof of the car. Maggie! I'll get her. You stay here. Stay. Trick, listen. You let my wife in there just for five minutes. You think I'll open the door? Never! Not never, never! I wouldn't go down that cellar with him for all the money in the world. I'm coming with you. No. I'm not staying here! Wait! Why are they attacking? They probably will when we start the car. You're not starting the car. How else are we getting out of here? Okay, Maggie. Very slowly. Come on out, love. Out you get. We can get to that stone shed. It's not far. Nat! <coughs> Hello, love. What are you doing? Get out, Nat. Are you all right? No, I don't know. I'm going to start the car. Don't you dare. I know what I'm doing. Tell your mum to get in. You have to get in, mum. You're crazy. They'll just come straight through the windows. We'll be torn to shreds. Shreds. Are you ready? You've gone mad. They won't attack us. I should have realised that. No. No, who told you that? Look at them. They're not interested in us at the moment. They're waiting for something. You can sort of feel it. That's why they're all facing in one direction. Don't put the key in the ignition. Maggie's right. It's suicide, this. I'll start it up then. Wait. Why? For God's sake, do it if you... Listen. Is that... Yes. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank you. What kind of plane is it? I don't know. Well, what's it going to do? I don't know. Blow them to smithereens, I hope. Look, there's another flock coming up from the south. The poor bastards. We may as well use the distraction. I wonder what they think. Us up in their element. Maybe that's annoyed them. They don't think. They're animals. We're animals. And we think... Don't contradict your mother. At least it looks as though the plane will miss the village. There's no one about. I can't see anyone in the shops. Well, that's something. I want to see people. If there were people, we'd be fighting over supplies. That's what we'd be doing. As it is, we have a free hand. How did they destroy the plane? How could they do that? If enough of them got sucked up into the engines, that'd do it. They don't care how many of them it takes. Maggie, I want you over by the church porch, your lookout. If they come, 
You get in the vestry. Save yourself, you hear me? Yes. We'll fill the whole back up as well as the boot. I'll get coal from the garage. So, you get the food, OK? Tins, packets. Not perishables, I know. Right. There should be somebody around. I'll take whatever tools I can find. In fact, if Jim's van is there, I might swap it for this. No, there are limits. We can have that argument later. He's right. Well, you can be corporal to his sergeant, are you? And I can be the poor bloody infantry. You swore. Doesn't take long, does it? Losing the last vestige of civilised behaviour. What did she mean? A lot of things. I'm sorry. For what? It's going to be very hard these next few weeks. Was Mrs Trigg dead? Yes. And Mrs Goodall? She was as well, wasn't she? That's why we're not getting her supplies. We haven't time to talk about that. We can't live in one room. It's defensible. Like a dugout. Like a rat trap. It's a question of resources. Light, heat. We'll be safer together. It's not... What, pleasant? Hygienic? Decent? No, but it's what we have to do. I think you're enjoying this. Mum! Am I? I'll turn on the radio. I want to find out what's really going on. Where's your pen and paper for the instructions? Look, never mind, I've got mine. Why do they keep doing that? Just a few of them attacking. To keep us in our place. Herd us in. High tide soon and it'll stop. Here we are. It's not tuned in. You've been fiddling with it? No. Must be six. What's your watch say? Six. You think they'd be on time with us all waiting? The dance music's not on. It must be about to start. Come on. I don't think there's going to be anything. Any broadcast. What do you mean? They said this morning... We've got to think clear. Maggie, I can't tell you to go to another room. Listen. The phone lines are down. That airplane crashed. Do you see? But that's just... Do you think what they could do to, to trains, to cars, everything? Maybe they got to the transmitters, or maybe they got in the building, the studio. It doesn't matter. We won't be hearing from London. They can get to anything in the end. The electricity, the pylons. We should have got more candles. I should have thought. Things don't collapse like that. It's only been a few days. Who'd have thought? I'm not giving up. We should have gone to London when I said. I'd rather be there than in this godforsaken hole. What will we do? Shall I make some tea? That's what people do in a crisis, isn't it? I mean, that's what we did in the shelters. This is worse. You can't be right, Dad. Listen, there's something. I'll try the foreign channels. I'll speak some French. It won't have been just England, you know. It'll have been all over. Will the Americans come? Eventually? I don't know. No. No, they won't. That's what he's saying. I tied. We'll have a few hours' peace. You take first watch, Sue. Wake me at midnight. Miss these cigarettes. We'll get some barbed wire tomorrow. Nail it across the shutters and the door. You can help me. It won't stop them attacking. We have to do what we can. I liked school. And the petrol won't last forever. But we can get a lot sorted. How will we keep clean? We won't. Well, what will happen when the food runs out? 
will hunt. Hunt? Why do you and Mum always argue? We don't. You do. She'll hate living like this. Oh, she'll get used to it. It'll be hard for all of us. Worse for her. I wouldn't say that. I would. We should move to live in the village. Be with other people. You don't know what people are like when they're panicked. I do. What? It's just something I've learned. No, I mean, what's that noise? We know what that noise is. They were due to start soon. There, there's something outside, not birds. Maggie, I rely on you. There is. I heard something as well. Wake me up. What is it? Quiet. Hello? Who's that? Don't say anything. Oh. Is that you, Nat? Nat Hawkin? Oh, thank God. I've been five hours crawling and creeping to get here. Let me in. <laughs> Just a minute, Maggie. A lad who works for Trigg, Jonathan. It is me, Jonathan. It's me. They haven't noticed me. I smeared myself a bird shit, crawled along. My knees are bleeding. What do you want? Dad! What do I want? Are you on your own? Of course I'm on my bloody own. Let me in. They'll notice me. Still eye tight. What's that got to do with... Let me in. I can see some flying about up there. Can you? Can't I let him in? Orcs, buzzards, bloody eagles. I need help. I need somewhere to stay. I'm strong. I can... Let me in. I think we should let him in. For the love of God, let me in. I'm a good worker, Mr Rockin. I can do things you can with that bad leg of yours. Can't I open the door? That's a good girl. I've seen you. I know you. Leave it alone, Maggie. Oh, is old Trigg. You've been up to his place? What? You've been up to his place. How is he? I don't want to be on my own. I'm on my own. They've broken into my cottage, everything. They destroyed everything. What's the matter with you? Open the door. He may have a gun. Well, if he has, that's good, surely. Have you a gun, Jonathan? Maggie, don't you hit her. I've got one, I've got one, yes. Where did you get the gun? Well, Mr Trigg, he, he lent it to me. Did he? Like Mrs Goodall lent you her car. Exactly. Let me in. I'm afraid, please. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I laughed at you. When did you laugh at me? Come on, Maggie, we're going to open that door. Don't you try and stop us. I won't. <laughs> Out the way. Maggie, come here. What are you doing? I'm putting my hands over your ears. You don't want to hear this. the light. When we opened the door, it attracted them. Yes, it did. Is that why you let us open the door? Dad! Oh. Oh. Come and sit by me. I'm here. I'm here, love. When it's all clear, I'll nip out and get the gun. It'll come in handy. Don't you worry. I'll always look after you. I'll look after you both. Always. In the Birds by Daphne de Maurier, Nat was played by Neil Dudgeon, Sue by Nicola Walker, and Maggie by Jade Williams. Mr. Trigg was Gerard Horan, Jonathan, Carl Groves, the newsreader, John Dougal, and Mary, Rachel Babbage. The music and sound design was by David Pickvance. The Birds was dramatized by Melissa Murray and directed by Sally Evans.